This is a Fox News alert. President Obama issued yet another set of commutations today. He provided clemency for both Chelsea Manning and Puerto Rican terrorist Oscar Lopez Rivera. For more, we're joined by Fox News correspondent Trace Gallagher. Trace. So, Tucker, instead of 28 years from now, Chelsea Manning will now be set free four months from now. It was back in 2009, then Army Intel analyst Bradley Manning copied some 400,000 documents revealing secret information about American military operations around the world. Manning then gave those documents to WikiLeaks, who in turn gained notoriety by disclosing the information to various news outlets. Pentagon officials say the leak endangered the lives of U.S. military personnel and those identified as having helped American troops. During Manning's trial, prosecutors said publicizing the information meant that anyone, including al-Qaeda, could have read it. Chelsea Manning, a transgender woman, has now been jailed for seven years. The White House says that while the documents Manning released were damaging to national security, the ones Edward Snowden released were far more dangerous. Today on Twitter, Snowden cheered Manning's release. But top Republicans, including House Speaker Paul Ryan, called the commutation outrageous. Even some Democratic lawmakers are baffled. Watch. I'm really uh, surprised that the president took uh, this action, and I have concerns about what message we send about ultimately revealing uh, sensitive national security documents. Meantime, President Obama also commuted the sentence of Oscar Lopez Rivera, who, as a member of the Puerto Rican group FALN, was convicted of trying to overthrow the U.S. government. During the 70s, under Lopez Rivera, FALN planted more than 130 bombs in various U.S. cities, though Lopez Rivera was never convicted of harming anyone. The left described him as a political prisoner who was wrongly convicted. Tucker. Trace Gallagher reporting for us. Thanks a lot, Trace. Well, President Obama's clemency means Chelsea Manning will serve just seven years behind bars. What sort of message is Barack Obama sending to other soldiers who might feel tempted to expose American military secrets and hence endanger American lives? We're joined now by former Green Beret Ben Collins. Ben, it's nice to see you. You too, Tucker. So first for the macro question, two clemencies granted on the same day, one of Chelsea Manning who betrayed the country and one of a Puerto Rican terrorist who sought to wage war against the country. What do these have in common, other than the obvious, they're both anti-Americans? Well, they're both anti-Americans, and, and this is something that's almost like a last kick in the teeth, you know, for, at least for Obama, um, to be able to look at President Trump and look at what's occurred over the last, you know, election cycle to say, you know, look, this is, this is my final gasp of, of, you know, basically saying, look, here's my legacy, right, that we're going to, we're, we're bowing down to organizations like, yeah. you know, I mean, that was a, that, that terrorist, I mean, that was 130 bombs across, you know, multiple cities across the U.S. Like you said, private manning, you know, treason. I mean, it, 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 is, it is hard to imagine President Obama granting clemency to an abortion clinic bomber, for example. Um, the, the administration on the Chelsea Manning clemency is apparently, through reporters saying, this is something of a civil rights victory because Chelsea Manning is a transgender woman. Um, and that we should feel good about it for that reason. Why should we be concerned or upset about this clemency for Chelsea Manning? So, Private Manning was a traitor in 2013, and Private Manning is a traitor in 2017. Private Manning released more than 750,000 classified documents. A lot of those were the Iraq War Diaries, those were the Afghan War Diaries. So, you know, my own, my own team, I mean, I commanded a team in, in Afghanistan, a special forces team. I mean, we're even mentioned in the Afghan War Diaries. You know, the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, they went through those diaries and looked at where did we get our information? Who were the sources that we got our information from? You know, they were able to tie together at least times and places. Now, number one, that put lives at risk, real, real Afghan and Iraqi sources that were giving us information. But not just the, the, the back history, but I mean also for the future. You know, how else are we going to look at another future source?